Hey everyone, welcome to Logan's Mosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Eddie Vedder once said, Life moves fast. As much as you can, learn from your history. Wise words, Eddie. With that said, it's time to transition to our blast from the past on music history. Throughout each episode of Music History, I will bring up some interesting music events that have happened today, which is March 17th, aka Shrek Day, which is why we wear green. Obviously, it would take all day to explore everything that unfolded today, so I trimmed the list down to 10 critical moments. I arranged them chronologically. Let's begin. First, on this day in 1919, jazz juggernaut Nat King Cole was born. Not only did Nat earn two Lifetime Achievement Awards, but he also got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame plus the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame on two separate occasions. How impressive is that? On this day in 1941, Paul Cantor was born. He helped get the phenomenal psychedelic group Jefferson Airplane off the ground. On this day in 1951, Thin Lizzy's limitless guitarist Scott Gorham was born. On this day in 1958, the movie Rock Around the Clock premiered in the United States capital city, Washington, D.C. Fred F. Sears served as director. Rock Around the Clock was widely regarded as the first film of its kind. Based on the Bill Haley and the Comet song of the same name, the plot revolved around the origin story of rock and roll. Rock Around the Clock managed to rake in more than a million dollars at the box office. Not bad. On this day in 1966, The Who's self-destructive drummer Keith Moon engaged in a secret marriage to Kim Kerrigan. The tight-lipped marriage lasted less than a decade. They divorced in 1975. On this day in 1967, leader of the sensational band Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan, was born. Huh, I thought he was born in 1979. On this day in 1968, the Ed Sullivan Show experienced the Bee Gees for the first time. They performed two tunes titled, To Love Somebody and Words. Also on this day in 1968, Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger participated in an angry protest alongside 25,000 other people who wanted nothing more than the Vietnam War to end. As a matter of fact, this particular protest affected Jagger so deeply that he turned it into the song Street Fighting Man, which showed up on the Stones' Beggar's Banquet album a few months later. <whistles> on this day in 1975, Cher appeared on the front cover of Time magazine. Cher certainly left little to the imagination when she donned her scantily clad attire. Last but not least, something a bit more modern. On this day in 2008, ABBA's absolutely amazing drummer, Ola Brunkert, tragically passed away at age 62 following a freak accident. Apparently, his head slammed against a glass door in his dining room and a piece of the shattered glass sliced open his neck. Wow, what a painful way to go. Rest in peace, dear Ola. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing that happened today? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.